Hello and welcome to another episode of Trivia you know, uh, Trivia League Un uh, Unlimited, also known as TLU. This is the singles tournament, and we have a great match tonight. We have John Marr, who we have actually not seen in singles yet, but he was a uh, he you know he was the uh, number one player in the former league, which we no longer talk about, but. Uh, he is going up against a very formidable opponent in Ryan Payne. Uh, over to my right, we have uh, someone from our writer's room and fairly new to the community, but this is Jacob Cameron. Jacob, how are you doing tonight? Doing good, Will. Looking forward to being behind the desk for this match. You know, Ryan Payne is someone who I have seen in multiple leagues. He is vicious but john mar is very good as well so this is going to be a this is going to be a heavyweight fight absolutely i have seen uh i've seen both of these people uh compete uh i've competed against both of these people and they are just powerhouses in their own right so let's go ahead and bring in uh first let's go ahead and bring in uh the challenger we'll go ahead and say ryan payne Ryan, this is the, I believe, second time we've seen you in TLU so far. Yes. How do, uh, how do you feel? Um, honestly, I feel the same as my first match I did up against Aaron. I'm doing my best to make sure the knowledge I have stays there. But I, you know, kind of like every trivia player, I try to sharpen myself and where I'm weak at, or I try to, you know, make sure I'm good and where I'm, what, where I'm strong in. But at the same time, you know, it's John. And just like in my previous match against Aaron, I do my best. And I'm making sure I don't overlook him. I'm looking to have a lot of fun playing against him. But knowing my own behavior in the past, I tend to really get up on – I really I tend to get down on myself if I miss one question. So my whole thing throughout this match, have fun, don't underestimate him, and don't, take, don't be so hard on yourself. Absolutely. And sometimes that is uh, always hard uh, to do. Uh, Jacob, do you have any questions that you have for Ryan tonight? You have any particular strategy going in? Because John Mark, he's very good at what he does. I'm I'm really aware, very aware. He's very good. I played him before, but it was more of a triple threat situation to where I could I could easily get an advantage if another person misses. That's not him. But since it's just me and him one on one, I'm hoping for a similar outcome to where I'm able to get the advantage. If not. I'm putting a lot of my trust in the random in the randomizer of questions that you guys have. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. So Ryan, we're uh, now going to bring in your opponent tonight, and we have Calamity John Mar. John hey. Mar, uh, you were the uh, as I said before, you were the uh, the number one. Uh, you know the number one player, the num you know the number one on the leaderboard in uh, the the league we should not talk about. Let's just call it the Voldemort League. Okay. Uh, Me, I was there. I, I I like that Ryan actually got that. Uh, so, how do you feel going up against Ryan after you just faced him in another league? Well, yeah, Ryan referenced that match, that triple threat match. I, you know, it's and it really comes down to kind of what he said. It really, it it's, comes down to the wheel. You know, sometimes you'll spin things. I think the reason why I was ranked so high in the other league is I often spun things that I knew, or people missed questions that I knew. Uh, and if I can get Ryan to spin my category, he might miss things and I'll get him. Or if I spin my own category, I'll know the answers to my questions. Uh, it's really just comes down to that. I don't believe in luck. That my father hates when I say that, you know, because there comes a point in time when you got to do it yourself. So hopefully uh, I don't have to do it myself, but if I have to do it myself, I have faith that I can do it myself. <laughs> All right. Excellent. All right. Some technically, you know, some uh, technical questions that I, you know, that I had. Uh, this is my second time hosting. I don't know why they do this to me. Anyway, uh, round number one is going to work like this. This is our speed round. Uh, our, you know, our opponents are going to get eight questions, 10 seconds apart. They're going to write down every single one of their answers. For every right answer, they get one point. If one of them manages to get all eight questions correct, a bonus point will be, you know, will be asked. Uh, a, 
uh, a rule change did occur where if a player wants to use one of their uh, use one of the repeats they do get an extra 20 seconds per repeat used so they can use more than one if they choose or they can just choose to go with you a lot of time it's up to them uh ryan any questions yeah, everything's played everything's straight out uh hopefully i can improve from my last time against aaron otherwise i'm gonna be relying heavily on that wheel <laughs> all right john are you ready yeah how do we get rid of these names under or, or, was that how do we get rid of these names under us that's a good question <laughs> i'm just <laughs> messing with you go ahead yeah <laughs> i know all right all right uh jacob do you want to take the odds or the evens I'll go first. I'll take the odds. You got it. And all of a sudden, I just lost the document. Oh, nope. Oh, here it is. Okay. When you are ready. All right, gentlemen. This is your first question in the realm of comedy. What job does Julia have when she meets Robbie in The Wedding Singer? I have not seen this one. It is a good, you know, it's a, it's a good time for sure. I absolutely love it. Uh, your second, uh, your second question comes in the category of two thousands. We, 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 we haven't gotten the answers for the we're, first one. We, we, we're, go. we, we, yeah, we, we're, do, we're doing this all the way to the last question. Right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, geez. Okay. My uh, bad. What, uh, what 2000 film features performances from Justin Long, Mary Elizabeth Winstead and Timothy Oliphant? Yeah, in ten seconds, banter is you know is pretty difficult, but mm. we do what we can. Go ahead and read the next one. All right, question number three in the realm of horror anthologies. VHS came out in what year? Uh, in uh, in the category of Oscars, who is the most recent recipient of the Best Actor Oscar? Next question. Question number five in the realm of the 1980s. Who is Roger Rabbit's co-star in the cartoon being filmed in the beginning of Who Framed Roger Rabbit? specifically working for character name. In the category of comic book movies, who is the most recent actress to portray Catwoman in a live action Batman movie? Go ahead and read the next question. In the realm of mystery thriller, what country does the bulk of Glass Onion take place in? Mm. Your final category in filmographies, who has starred in Stand By Me, Con Air, and Gross Point Blank? Now's the time to ask for more if you need time. Four, three. Yeah, you know what? I'll ask for more time. Okay. Okay, you get 20 seconds. Oh. Okay. Five, four, Shit. three, two. Okay. One. Ryan, first, show us your board. Okay, so here's the answers I have. Question one, I had that she is a hairstylist. The second one for Justin Long, Mary, it was, it was good for you to die hard. For VHS, horror anthologies, I said 2007. Oscars, Austin Butler. For the Who Framed Roger Rabbit co star, Baby Herman, if I believe that's the character name. Comic book movies, Catwoman, Zoe Kravitz. 
Um, uh, for Glass Onion, I wrote Italy. And then for Active Filmologies, I said John Cusack. Okay. And let me adjust. So we can move this over. And John, let's see your board. I have that. She was a catering server, uh, Die Hard 4.0, or you know whatever that movie's called. 2012 for VHS. Brendan Fraser won the Oscar. I don't know Bugs Bunny, Zoe Kravitz, Catwoman. I think it was <sighs> Grease for Glass Onion and John Cusack. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead Brendan, and read down the answers. It's Brendan Fraser. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. So, uh, Quint, um, Jacob, if you don't mind, uh, just to make this expedient, I'll go ahead and read the answers. Okay. Yeah. Uh, question one: uh, What job does Julia have when she meets Robbie and the wedding singer waitress? But we will accept catering server because it's the uh, same thing. I was thinking of her best friend because she also works in the hair salon. <laughs> uh, her best friend is actually a waitress of the same thing. Just to let you know. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, question number two: What 2007 film features performances from Justin Long, Mary Elizabeth Winstead, and Timothy Olyphant? Uh, Live free or die hard. Is the American title? The title overseas was "Live Free," to, uh, our uh, uh, Die Hard 4.0. So we will accept both answers. Really? Yes. Wow. No, that's, what, that's what I knew it is. <laughs> I'm not going to fight you on that. I mean, international. There's always different titles. <laughs> uh, VHS came out in 2012. Uh, Brendan Fraser won the Best Actor Oscar recently. Oh my god. Baby Herman was correct. Uh, most recently, Zoe Kravitz played Catwoman in The Batman. Uh, Grease is where Glass Onion takes place. And John Cusack is the star of those three movies. So at the end of round one, John takes a lead seven to Ryan's four. So it's still anyone's game as we go into round number two. Round number two is going to work like this. It is your standard wheel round. Uh, the uh, We have created a wheel from the lovely people over at wheeldecide.com. Let me go ahead and bring in that wheel. So, John, are you go you know, do you want to spin first or do you want to defer as you're right? I think I just, yeah, I'll just defer. Everybody defers. Why not defer? All right, Ryan, here is your first spin. Big money, big money, big money, big money, big money, big money, big money. And some comedy. comedy. What okay. do you think? I, don't, I know I want to stick with this, but I also know it's broad. I mean, John could easily steal questions from me. There's a risk I could land on something that's good for him. You know what? Uh, I'm not going to. I'm not going to be like any gambler. I'm not going to spin again. I'm actually going to take this. <laughs> You're just going to take comedy. So we're going to let the you know let the wheel reside in the back, and. Jacob, do you, you know, do you want to read Ryan his questions? I'll take this. Okay. All right. So, Ryan, this is your first question in the realm of comedy. Are you ready? Let's go. All right. Number one. In Saved, how did Roland lose the use of his legs? I was just in a Discord. Someone brought this movie up. Uh, multiple choice. <laughs> Multiple choice, very good. Your options are A, born paralyzed, B, skateboard accident, C, hit by a car, D, fell out of a tree. One feels like the logical answer. Five. I'm going to say uh, A. Unfortunately, that is incorrect to Calamity John for the one-point steal. All right. Y'all threw me the options. I'll just say he was hit by a car. That is also incorrect. We were looking for fell out of a tree. Fell out of a tree. That was my second choice. That was, that was my, my third choice. So what, what, what a small world. <laughs> All right, Ryan. Question number two. Who directed 1993's Maverick? Uh, oh, my God. Three. Multiple choice. 
Multiple choice, very good. Your options are A, Richard Donner, B, Mel Gibson, C, James Mangold, or D, Sam Raimi. Richard Donner. Richard Donner is correct for one point. All right, question number three. In the Kentucky Fried movie, what does the wonderful world of sex come equipped with in the event of premature ejaculation? I haven't watched this movie in a year. Uh, multiple choice. <laughs> Your options are A, a vibrator, B, a sleep aid, C, Spanish fly, or D, a football player. Mm. I'm going to say a football player. Big Jim Slade. That, that is correct for one. Yes. <laughs> like it's, honestly, that movie, it's funny, but. Everything was like one ear thrown the other. <laughs> so, so, th so th this is uh, this is for John Big Jim Slade. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And uh, Ryan now brings it to within one as we go into question number four. Who directed Clue? Oh my God! Come on, man! You love this movie. Come on. Multiple choice. Okay. Multiple choice. Your options are A, Peter Sellers, B, Harold Ramis, C, Jonathan Lynn, or D, Ivan Reitman. Uh, Jonathan Lynn. That is correct. We have a tie ball game. As we go into your final question in the realm of comedy, Ryan. In Vengeance, what is Ben's job? Vengeance. Mobile choice. Your options are A, playwright, B, podcaster, C, social media influencer, or D, comedian. Hmm. I'm going to go with B. B is correct for one point. Ryan takes the lead. Ryan takes a one point lead going uh, going into John Spin. We have a score of eight to seven. Let's go ahead and bring in our lovely wheel. And I know this. I know the tab is around here somewhere. There it is. John, this is your first spin. Like it's going oh, to be horror anthology. I will take it. <laughs> damn it. <laughs> damn it. This could have burst the dam here, Will. This could game could be broken wide open. Well, let's find out. John, are you ready for your questions in horror anthologies? Yeah, but get this wheel out of here. This wheel's bothering me. I don't like, I don't okay. like watching me. <laughs> Sorry. I don't answer questions. <sighs> okay. There we go. And let's get my tab back up with the questions. All right. <clears throat> Question number one. In uh, in the Lot 249 segment in Tales from the Dark Side, the movie, what actor plays Edward Bellingham? Steve Buscemi. For two points. Regaining the lead. Going into question number two in Horror Anthologies. In the segment, Something to Tide You Over in Creep Show. What is the name of Richard's beach house? Ooh. You know, I'll do multiple choice in that one. Your multiple Thank choice you. options are A, Serene Shores, B, Coastal Haven, C, Comfort Point, or D, Sandy Oasis. B. B is incorrect. Ryan chance for a one point steal. Okay. And the or the options again are Serene Shores, Coastal Haven, Comfort Point, or Sandy Oasis. I'm gonna go with C. C is the correct answer. Wow, that that was a big steal there, Will. 
Because consider the fact that John has a creep show poster in his background right now. Yeah, it's right there. And, Look at that. <laughs> and, and he missed that question. Yeah, I got the. It was the same first letter. I didn't know. It but. is you know it is anyone's game. Like I said, yeah. going into question number three. In the old dark house segment in After Midnight, how does Joan die? And we will take a general answer. She's decapitated. Correct for two points. Dark. It was John an hitting John <laughs> hitting the double digits. Nice. Uh, number question number four, or the penultimate question, as the kids say. In the box segment in, in XX, what mode of transportation does the story start and end on? A subway. Subway is correct for two points. We have also accepted a train. Your final question here, John. Clarissa tells Herman she was born with what medical condition in phase one clinical trials segment in VHS2? The general or specific answer? General. She's hearing impaired. Hearing impaired or deafness is correct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So coming out of round two, uh, John has a lead of 15 to Ryan's nine, but this could, you know, this could all change in the blink of an eye going into round three. Round three is what we call our mastery level. The, uh, the competitors put in their strengths. Uh, John's strength, as we just saw, was horror anthologies. Ryan put in a strength of comic book movies. They, you know, both, you know, both competitors will be asked a two-point question, a three-point question, and a five-point question. Uh, we will, you know, we will keep asking questions until the questions are all done, or someone is mathematically eliminated. Uh, Jacob, because you gave Ryan his questions in round number two, I will be giving him the questions in round number three. Okay. Ryan, are you? Uh, prepared for your two-point question and comic book movies. Let's do this. Okay. For two points, who plays the titular character in The Spirit? Gabriel Ma. I'm sorry, can you repeat that? Gabriel Ma. That, that's correct. That yeah, is that's correct. Yeah. For two points, that was a big pull. Brings your score up to 11. You are still down. And I, if I am looking at this, uh, Ryan will need to hit, hit both the three and the five to send it back to John. Yes. Oh, or just the five, I believe. But I want both. Yeah. I want both. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. I'm Math, math is hard. Well, just but, to have a bigger lead. Just have a bigger That's true. Lead. <laughs> All that. right. So, Ryan, your three-point question in comic book movies in TMNT, what is Mikey's party entertainer persona? Oh my God. Okay. So uh, five. Question. Oh, okay. I did not hear the repeat before. Okay, I'm sorry. I just said it. I just said it. That's okay. Yeah. Uh, in TMNT, what is Mikey's party entertainer persona? Damn it. Um, looks like I have to go for the five. Uh, surfing Carl. Close. We that hurts. It's Cowabunga, Cowabunga Carl. Ah, Cowabunga! Right, uh. right track, wrong train. All right. So that you know. So here's where uh, you know. Here's where it gets interesting. Ryan has to answer his five points question in order to avoid the TKO and send it over to John. If he gets this wrong, John does win by TKO. Ryan, are you ready? I didn't hear. Uh, Ryan, are you ready? 
No, yeah, I am ready. Sorry. I had okay. a pause. I had a pause for a moment. So yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. For five points. What three specific food items or items of food is Todd Ingram cited for consuming by the vegan police in Scott Pilgrim versus the world? Okay, well, Scott tricks him into drinking half and half in coffee. So, and then the vegan police, his first offense was drinking, was eating gelato. And then his second one was he partook a plate of chicken parmesan. For five big wow. points, bringing your score up to 16. That's like. That, that's like my top five favorite scenes of that movie. <laughs> so, John. Milk and eggs, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Chicken is <isn't> vegan. <laughs> so, uh, Jacob, go ahead. And, uh, John, if you're <clears throat> ready to answer some questions. Yeah, so I have 14. He has 16. Uh, uh, 15 to 16. Four. So, any of the one of these. Oh, I have 15. Okay. Okay. Make you win yeah, that. you have 15. Okay. Okay. This cool. is a yeah. sudden death situation, John. If you hit any one of these, you win. Sweet. All right. Your strength is horror anthologies. This is your first question for two points, and it is thus. Who directed 1921's Destiny? Fritz Lang. And your winner, Calamity, John Marr. The answer was Fritz Lang. Uh, let's go ahead and remove our competitors just for a quick moment. So, Jacob, you and I can pontificate on how great this match was. Yes, it was a very good match. You know, it, it was looking like coming out of that first round that John pretty much had a commanding lead. Ryan narrowed it slightly to to uh, to what he was, but but eventually, like, the lead was just too great. You know, you can always chalk this up to... You know, one you know, one person got their strength and the other person didn't. But it's not like either competitor did horribly. In fact, no. Ryan, what you know, Ryan did everything he could to make, you know, to make this competitive and he succeeded as far as I'm concerned. But let's go ahead and talk to Ryan because I'm sure Ryan has things to say. Ryan. Right. Uh again, something you know, you got you know, you got a category that you may or may or not have been as confident in and john got his strength but either way you still did a great job how do you feel though you are right uh with comedy it, i i was hesitant to take it because of its broadness but then at the same time because it was my first spin i just did not want to risk on landing on a on john's strength or a category john was great in or getting an opponent's choice so out of all of those categories on there i i felt more safer with comedy it's just unfortunately some of the most of the questions in comedy, I knew them, but just nothing I can pull off, like, right off the hip. I knew the director of Maverick and of, and of course, of Clue, but it was just kind of like, I unfortunately couldn't pull them off of my brain immediately. I needed to hear their names. Everything else was kind of like with, you know, it was a touch and go there. With, with comedy, like I said, it's broad, but beyond that, no excuse. I was able to at least survive. I mean, John got a steal off of me, unfortunately, which is something I did not want. But the moment he got horror anthologies, I was just like one or two steals just to stay alive. And I did get one. Afterward, it was like I needed to nail every question for for my for comic book movies. And fortunately, Cowabunga, which should have been very simple, but I just knew it was Carl. Uh, it, alliteration. I would make sure with comic book movies and alliteration, it needs, something needs to stick in my head. <laughs> That's true. Cool. Well, so, not gonna lie, Ryan, that pull of Scott Pilgrim with those three, uh, the the gelato, the half and half, and the chicken parmesan, you're a hero for pulling all three of those. So well, I, I, it's mainly the, the 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 deliverance from Clifton Collins Jr. when he when he gives them when he gives them citation. I just needed to remember the third one, which was drinking the half and half. Like mm -hmm. I can easily tell you, oh, he partook a he gelato. He, he can only ingest gelato. And you partook a plate of chicken parmesan. I'm like, oh, <laughs> but you needed all three, so I did not want to be all showman like. <laughs> I could I could slip up. 
I, I tell you, Brandon Routh justified his entire existence with that scene alone. <laughs> so, Ryan, this does sadly end your tournament run over in Tilu, but that does not mean your, your Tilu season is over. Uh, after the tournament, who do you want to face? There is a lot of people out there I have seen like on the list of competitors. As far as I'm concerned, as much as I want to shout out people, just playing these two matches against Aaron and John, I'm not going to be picky. Whoever you bring, whoever is ne- whoever I'm next in line to, to play against, I'll be happy with. But, you know, it's going to be like this time I'm – I mean, I don't know. I want to ch- I want to yell out some names, but at the same time, I'm staying humble. I will play whoever is next up. That's it. I'm just going to play whoever is next up. Jack, I mean, John, he earned this. I said Jack just gonna Jack's our manager. John, he definitely mm-hmm. earned this victory. And uh last thing I want to do is uh just try to demean myself, which I'm not. I, I stumble, I don't demean. <laughs> That's fair. Well, Ryan, it was great to see you as always, and we definitely look forward to seeing you later on this season. Take care. Thank you. And let's go ahead and bring in tonight's big winner in Calamity, John Marr. Uh uh, John, uh, I want to uh, start out by saying I know that you always uh, you always say that the reason why you're called calamity is because you luck into this, that you you know that you always make people play the worst games possible. But that's definitely not what happened here today. You actually showed your trivia prowess tonight, I, and I fooled everybody. <laughs> I mean, I can't I can't get questions right about posters that are behind me, but everything else, very good with. <laughs> That is true. Yeah. I was going to say when that creep show question came up, I'm like, oh, he's got this, but like, no, he didn't. But it's grand not, scheme, I, I understand like how, how the question was written because I know a lot of times like it, it, it's their Wikipedia questions. That, that's definitely fresh off the Wikipedia because they reference it on the Wikipedia. But I'm not sure how often they actually say it in in the segment. It might be on like a sign or something. So fair enough. You know, I just got to read the Wikipedia as well as watch the movie just so I get well rounded. And I never fault writers for doing that. I do the same exact thing, so that's fine. That's fair. Yeah. Well, John, uh, you will be continuing. Uh, I don't have the bracket in front of me, so I am playing the winner of Sam Wilson and Robert Castner. As 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 an admin here, I know that. <laughs> I probably you know I probably should, but you know, yeah, yeah we, and, we we all know how many times I'm in those, uh, how many times I'm actually in those calls. Yeah. So I need, I I mean, need if I had to choose, I mean, obviously, Will, you and I know we've I, you know between the two of us, we've played Robert a bunch of times, and nothing is more delightful than him screaming fuck and throwing pens across the room. So I think I want to play Robert Kasner. That was Scott Harvey who threw the pen. No, <laughs> no, then Scott Harvey also threw a pen, but he did not he did not yell the F word. That was Robert. That's true. <laughs> Actually, he did. <laughs> That's a different different league entirely. Oh, are we talking about miscellaneous counts? Well, the miscellaneous, I've had multiple people yell fuck and throw pens, but I was talking in, in movie trivia alone. That's fair. Yeah. All right. Well, John, uh, we look forward to seeing you in round three of the tournament, I believe. Yes. So uh, let's go ahead and get you out and let's put a bow on this, as the kids say here. Uh, Jake, uh, Jacob, parting words from you. Uh, just really, really good match. Looking forward to be back behind the desk and maybe competing one day, but that's a little further down the road. Of course. Well, uh, again, solid players solid match i you know i can't come you know i can't complain beyond this this was a great match the only thing i complain about is my shitty hosting and so uh i you know i want to thank our competitors tonight in ryan payne and john marr i want to thank jacob cameron for being here and for helping me write you know write some you know write some of this uh write some of this match uh big shout out uh, to Melissa Woody, who helped, you know, who helped out uh, with some of the questions as well, and to everyone watching this match, thank you from the bottom of, of our hearts. It brings, a, you know, it always brings joy to our hearts to see people watching these videos. If you are watching this video, though, like, share, and subscribe to this video if you liked this. If you didn't, do it anyway and torture people with this video. Uh, this has been J- that's been Jacob Cameron. I've been Will Cohen. See you the next time over on TLU.